Hey guys, how's it going? This is Natinatum, and this video is a very special thank you to everyone again, as we have made over 2,500 subscribers. That's a quarter of 10,000 people, and that is a lot. So thank you very much, and once I'm finished with this horrible assignment period, we'll be right back on track with many more uploads. So for you today is a creepypasta known as Little Pink Bag. The premise is that someone found a pink bag, and upon opening it, found the diary of a four-year-old girl inside. Now, you're going to soon see that this little girl has some really bad issues. I have images of all the illustrations done by that same four-year-old, and the narration is by Rhiannon, aka ReXOX, link in the description. Now, turn out the lights, get comfortable, and let the story begin. This is Lisa. She is my friend. But my mom and dad don't see her, so they say she is my imaginary friend. Lisa's a nice friend. Today, I tried to plant a flower in the yard. I tried to plant it by the sandbox, but Lisa said that is where her daddy is sleeping. So I planted it in a cup of dirt. Lisa's at school with me today. I brought her for show and tell, but Mrs. Monroe got mad because she can't see her. Lisa got sad, so she hid the chalkboard eraser. Yesterday was my birthday party. Mommy bought pizza, but no one came. Lisa said people came to the porch and left, but they left presents. I got three Barbies, a pair of shoes, and five dollars. Me and Lisa played with the Barbies. Mrs. Monroe is absent today. Our substitute is named Mrs. Digman. She is pretty and nice, and she's letting us have snack time after diary time. I wish Mrs. Digman can stay our teacher. Today, Jonathan Parker stole my pencil pack. Mrs. Digman can't find it, so she made him give me his pencils. Lisa came to school too, but Mrs. Digman can't see her. She said she believes Lisa is real. Yesterday, me and Lisa went on a long walk until the moon came out. Daddy got mad and said, Lisa is stupid and fake and she disappeared. Today, Lisa didn't come to school, but Mrs. Digman says that Mrs. Monroe won't come back. Daddy was at work all day yesterday. He didn't come home to eat dinner. Today, he is still at work. Mom packed me a pudding for lunch today. Pudding is my favorite. I miss Lisa. Daddy is really busy at work. He didn't come home at the weekend. Mom is mad at him. I want to write a letter for Lisa. Dear Lisa, I miss you. Please come back. I'm sorry when my daddy was mean. You are my best friend. Lisa came back yesterday. She said sorry for leaving. And I told her my dad won't come home from work. Lisa said him and Mrs. Monroe are both sleeping like her dad. 
I hope they wake up soon.